Watch out for this gal, Gail Hamilton. You know, an interesting thing about her horse, Shelly, this was a Christmas present given to her by her boyfriend, Preston Carter, last Christmas. And this is really a neat thing that she's made the finals here, and she's been real tough all the way. Watch this nice horse. This is a good son of Color Me Smart. What a nice present. Oh, yeah. And what a great new year yeah. <laughs> coming up. <laughs> Watch this horse. Watch him go. Now, who trained this horse, Chevy? Actually, uh, Neil Roger did most of the work on this horse. I rode him a little bit early on, but Neil's been uh, a contributing factor to the whole thing. He's really d done an excellent job. Now, she started off a little slow right there. Uh, didn't have a lot going on right there at first. Now, talk but, about slow so we can really get what you're talking well, I, mean, I mean, where the, are you going with the slow, as in the cow's slow, or just yeah. not? Okay. Yes, the, the cow was too slow. It was what we call too soft. It didn't do quite enough. Now you see she's going to cut a little bit more cow. See how this cow's a little bit difficult to cut but they, here. Now they need to really get this other cow out of the way. There the the we help go. is important, right? Yeah, oh yeah, the help's very important. Now watch this horse. This is a really nice pony. We've got a lot of cow. And he really has a lot of desire to work at cow. See how he keeps his head real low? The only reason I know so much about him, I've watched him all year long and then through the pre fraternity works that we have. We go to a lot of different places, little Coliseums and workhorses, and I've seen him everywhere, and he's been a he's been a standout everywhere we've been. You know, we have to brag on our camera crew because what a great angle to watch <laughs> yeah. these horses. I wish the we don't get to see, see that. Oh, exactly. <laughs> and Gail, you know, we talked about how great Bucky rides, but watch she just sits in that saddle, does not move. Oh, Gail's been riding for a long time. She's a real great competitor. She's been a finalist in numerous events in the NCHA and the age division classes. Uh, been around these horses a long, long time. You know, we need to emphasize these are just three-year-olds. Never been shown. This is it right here. That's right. Now, you see she picks wow. up the action here. See the see the style on this horse? Nice run right there. Really good run. That should possibly go over that previous score there that Bucky James had. I may be wrong on my pick. Yeah, but you always talk about finishing really strong and well at the end. And, well, hey, there. you're right. 219 for Gail Hamilton. Here's Chad Gushaw on Jerios. Of course, this horse is by Smart Little Jerry. That's uh, Phil and Marion Rapp's great stallion. And this is first coat crop. And Chad, one of our tough, tough non-pro competitors, he loves this sport. He has a little over 221,000 in lifetime earnings. Oh, yeah. He's been around a while. You know, he just got out of college a few years ago. He's got a real good job now. And uh, all available bachelor, by the way. <laughs> Well, watch him go here. This is very precise. Not only an available bachelor, but the only guy competing against some tough gals yes. in the non-pro finals. <laughs> here today, it's a, it's kind of a one-sided thing, but he started off a real precise run. And you watch, this gentleman is very poised. He doesn't show a tremendous amount, but he's always here at our uh, major aged events. You know, the horse is not that little. No. He's tall. He's a big man. Watch here. Watch how well he works his herd. Now, you get credit for good herd work. And you notice he's showing his ability to step into a herd and separate a single calf, cow, however you want to say it, heifer, from that herd. Now watch. He's, he's picking looked, the black that baldy. Was a, that was an exceptional cut, very credit earning situation. Now watch here. Very precise. Everything's dead on. Good wow. cow turning into him. Very good, very good. Chubby, do you want to go across the pin? I mean, is, or do you really want to just kind of keep it in the middle? Actually, Shelly, a lot of it depends on the cow. And, and also, when you're exhibiting your horse, you've got to know the best qualities of your horse. Now, I don't know this horse that well, but I would say, in my opinion, that this horse maybe doesn't have a lot of flash in front of a cow, but he does can handle himself correctly and handle a cow correctly. He's trying to do everything correct, not make any mistakes, and get himself into the possibly beating that 19 run. Now here, here he's picked it up. Here, now, now he's using this horse, see? He feels more like he can take advantage of that cow and finish the run. He finishes it really strong. I don't know how strong. But it looked good Very from here. Very precise run, no mistakes. Mistake-free run right there, we'll see. Again, up to the judges. 2-19, oh. now what happens? Well, We're we have tied. Current standings, Gail Hamilton and Chad Bouchaw with a 2-19, something different for the non-pro finals. A work-off coming up.